Um, okay. Hello, everyone. So this is all money mentors. Yeah. Uh, okay. There should be one outreach leader. It looks like. Who is that? Muhammad. Muhammad. Hey, how are you? Can is he there? Yeah, he just amused himself. Muhammad, can you hear us? Hello? His mic might not be working because he can hear us because he unmuted, but... He's not in front of the camera. <clears throat> oh, it's his turn. Um, yeah. Muhammad, can you, can you unmute yourself so I know that you're, you can hear us? Yeah, he just unmuted. Hello, Mohammed. <laughs> it could be his computer. Is the desktop and doesn't have a, a mic? I just don't know if he can hear me or not. Yeah, he keeps on unmuting whenever you say to. So can he just slack you if if he like Mohammed? Can you hear me? You just slack. No, don't slack him. He needs to slack us in this year. So yeah, Mohammed, can you slack George if you can hear us? Slack message or no? Okay, so Muhammad's gonna have to do the next training. That's fine. Um, yeah. uh, oh, he can't hear. Okay, hey. great. <laughs> um, okay, uh, I have. Uh, let me just pull up the email again. I keep getting out of it. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, great. Um, oh, okay. Um, all right, thank you everyone for joining. I don't think. Is that Tara? Tara, you got like a haircut since I last saw you. Or maybe it's been the same for a while, but it looks yeah. nice. <laughs> um, you're now like a full, now you're a sophomore, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm a sophomore now. Okay, man, it goes quick. <laughs> um, good to have you, good to have you back. Um, so thanks everyone for joining. Um, I'll go through, if everyone could pull up the email that I sent out yesterday, I'll kind of walk through that a little bit. And then um, we'll talk through a, a few key update items. Um, by the end of this call, uh, we'll end on two mandatory next steps for anyone to continue to be a, an active money mentor. One, or workshop leader, one is taking a, and passing, more importantly, a, a quiz that um, basically recaps all of what we're gonna talk about here so that you, I know that you all fully understand what's happening um, who Common Bond is, your roles, we're all on the same page in case anyone's kind of zoning out a little bit. Um, so that George will be sending that out by the end of this week and you have to pass that to continue to be an active member so that we're all on the same page and that um, we all know that you, uh, you know what's going on, basically. Number two is um, we'll talk about contracts, um, but you should expect new contracts to be sent out by the end of this week. Um, and the deadline to sign those is on Monday. So those are the, the those are the immediate mandatory items that we'll go through, um, but we'll follow up um, from this call. So everyone has the email that I sent out earlier, um, if you could just pull it up. Um, so one, uh, congratulations. I'll start off by saying congratulations to all of you guys. Um, being part of a uh, venture-backed technology startup that was acquired is um, probably only accessible to my guess would be, and George and I were talking about this last night, at absolute most 50 college students in the US. Um, that experience of having worked with, of having, um, uh, of having been a part of a startup and then having seen and in the future experience an integration process is one that is um, very unique. Um, it is incredibly unique to a uh, to college students. Um, that's something that I was talking about last night. Uh, I get probably one or two emails from like business school students from Harvard Business School, Stanford Business School. I'd say once every month or so, saying, "Hey, I'm really trying to learn about early stage startups, or I'm really trying to learn about technology startups. Can I sit down with you for a coffee? Can I?" come intern, um, 
I'm really just looking to break into the industry. And these are like 30 year old business school students from top business school programs. So I just want to put in perspective that you've gotten a, <laughs> uh, a more valuable and more unique um, uh, experience than um, people who are paying $150,000 a year to go to uh, top uh, MBA programs. So congratulations for being able to say that. And, and why is that relevant just outside of just experience? is um, uh, for your own future careers and employability. So I'll get to this in a little bit, but um, that this is something that you should 100% uh, feel excited to talk about as it relates to your own career. Um, so whether that is applying for internships this upcoming summer, whether that is um, applying for grants and scholarships, again, for within your college um, career, whether that is for full-time positions later on, um, having on your resume uh, worked for a venture-backed company that was acquired and, and worked through the, the transition and integration process with them is something that will 100% stand out. Um, and I can say that as, as someone who like, you know, hires people and also uh, um, gets a lot of inbound requests too. So, First and foremost, congratulations to all of you guys. Um, that's a big step and hopefully very helpful for not just right now, because it's cool, but also for your future careers. Um, uh, I'll talk a little bit about Common Bond, and so you guys should take notes because this will be in your quiz. So if you don't have to retake a quiz, um, you should take notes now. So uh, really quickly, um, and, and mind you, the press articles that I put in the email, those are those will be likely featured in the quiz too. So they're mandatory to read. It's very important that you guys understand what's actually happening and why we're doing this. So high level, um, what is Common Bond? Common Bond's mission, um, hint, this is a question on the quiz. Common Bond's um, mission is to reduce the cost of higher education. Um, how do they do that? They do it in three distinct business lines. So they have three businesses. Um, one of them is providing lower cost loans. Um, so if you guys know that we have like the common bond team, that's really where they interface. Um, number two is they have a refinancing business, meaning that if you have a lot of different loans from the federal government, from uh, from, you know, like Sally May, you can put those all together and potentially you can get a lower interest rate on all of them if you like, but lump them together and refinance them. Um, number three is they have um, a, uh, a employee benefits business, um, meaning that they will work with companies like Hyatt or um, JP Morgan or uh, what are, like Intel and offer their employees the employee benefit of student loan repayment. So they've created something like a 401k for student loan repayment, similar to like a similar, similar to how a company offers a 401k as a, as a company benefit. Does that make sense? Um, they also have, uh, and this is very unique, I would say in the broader college financing, higher education space, student loan space, they have a what's called their social promise. Um, can anyone tell me what their social promise is? Let's call on Devin. <laughs> I'm gonna randomly call on people. Um, I have to check the email again, but I think it was they were like pledging so far a million dollars to uh, was it for like student loans for like underprivileged students. Sorry, I like yeah, so you got the million dollars right. It's it's for um uh for every for the education. Loan, every for every loan education. they fund, they contribute to um a student's education in a student in needs education. Um and they formalize that through this should be a question too. Right. Um the their partnership with Pencil of Promise. So make sure you research Pencil of Promise too, because that's gonna be a question on the quiz. Um Basically, they're a uh, they're kind of like the good guys, <laughs> which is why we initially partnered with them in a slightly predatory industry. Um, some numbers on that: they've only had two, I believe it's two um, 
uh, defaults on their loans since they're in their past six year history, which is very different than the default rates from like a Navient, a Sally Mae, where you see upwards of 15% default rates on those loans. Um, who can tell me what a, def a loan default is? Let's go to Ashlyn. Basically, you're not able to pay your loan back anymore. Yeah, exactly. And so that happens, as I'm sure you guys have sort of seen through some of the mentor stuff, for a lot of different reasons. Like, one, you take out too many loans and you literally can't pay them off. Two, it's because it's a really, excuse my language, fucking confusing process to figure out where to make payments. Um, it might, they might be in like lots of different portals. They might, the customer service people might not be responsive. They might mess up your payments. Um, so that's something to, to keep in mind with. And so common bond has only had two people, uh, default on loan payments previously within their whole company history. So that just kind of shows that they actually care about getting people to pay off their loans and get well priced loans to, um, facilitate their broader higher education. Um, Within the within the actual loan bucket, they they give they provide loans to undergraduates and to graduates. Um, so graduate school students, whether it's MBA, doctors, um, lawyer, law school, they provide loans there too. Any questions so far on on like what is Common Bond? Okay, um, I'll talk a little bit now about like broader vision alignment and and why we did this. So. Uh, first and foremost, uh, we did this because there's a lot of overlap um, it, to our missions and our broader vision. So Next Year Invest mission has always been to um, help guide Gen Z through their most significant financial decisions, starting with their student loans and college financing um, decision-making process. Uh, Common Bond's mission, as I mentioned before, is to reduce the cost of higher education. Um, so obviously those are very similar. Um, I've personally known the CEO of Common Bond, David Klein, for about five years uh, and um, really see this as an opportunity to streamline the process of providing an end-to-end -end experience from the time a kid is thinking about going to college to make sure that they, they actually pick the right college that's cost-effective for them, um, take out the right amount of loans that they, that they can afford, and actually are able to pay them off. Um, so that whole loop is something that we want to be able to streamline and, and hopefully make um, delightful for students and their families. Um, what does that mean for, for Next Year Invest and how will that operate? How does that like affect you guys and, and Next Year Invest as a team? Um, pretty much in the, in the immediate future, and the short way of saying this is, is quite honestly, not at all. Um, so everything will continue to work essentially business as usual, as I mentioned in, in our email, and I made sure of that as part of the broader acquisition like terms, is that we keep everyone on um, who's been with us, who's an active money mentor or workshop leader, um, uh, that nothing really changes with pay. Um, so mind you, we're kind of always tweaking things like service points, so that, that construct will stay the same for the immediate future, but, but that construct won't change for the immediate future. Um, who will you report to? You will still report to William. Um, and I will be, I will have a much more active role. Um, so I will not be, uh, you guys will see a lot more of me, which is hopefully exciting. But as George and William also probably know, that means that things will probably get, um, you'll get a lot of feedback and a lot of kind of like we'll start moving a lot quicker with things and iterating a lot, a lot more things because um my, like what i see as my my real role is really kind of re-jumpstarting um what we've been doing and making sure that we're we're really kind of um iterating very very, very quickly now so one of the key next gen best core values that should be front and center um as we as we progress in the coming months is anticipate, automate, and act. So I want you guys to be thinking a lot about this as we move forward because um, we're going to, uh, my attention is going to be very, very focused on city teams and money mentors. Um, so you'll be getting a lot more coaching from me. You'll be getting um, hopefully a lot more opportunity to work with me if that's interesting um, to you. Hopefully it is. 
Um, and we'll be, broadly speaking, just improving the quality of service and the way that we measure that um, within, the, within all money mentors more broadly. Um, what does that mean in terms of like higher level long term? Uh, again, as I mentioned before, pretty much nothing is changing except for the fact that there's just more opportunity for you guys. What do I mean by that? Um, more opportunity as it relates to potential full-time roles. So we are now in, I'm, we're now in the Common Bond office, which is in Soho in New York City. Um, our whole team is here. Our whole New York City headquarter team is here. Um, uh, and because, excuse me, because Common Bond has a lot more resources, um, they, still, they still are a startup, mind you. They are a Series D startup. Um, but they, uh, um, there's an opportunity that if we continue to prove ourselves, we can pay money mentors more. Um, we can offer more full-time um, positions because we just have more resources. That being said, um, that's why my attention is fully focused on money mentors and city teams is because as with any company, they will just like hand out money, right? So we need to basically be proving ourselves and really be making sure things are going in the right direction because I would love to be able to offer some money mentors future full-time roles, um, think about changing and improving um, uh, pay structures. Um, and then the last way that, what I mean by opportunity is one, future pay, two, full-time, potential full-time roles in the future, and three is um, training. So uh, all of you have, have gotten kind of ancillary or kind of ancillary training that I've made in partnership with William that has been um, hopefully helpful. You've learned a lot. But now we're in a place where we can actually really put you guys with experts um, and, uh, and in, improve your broader skill set, not just professionally, um, but most importantly as it relates to the loan and financial aid process so just to put a number on that common bond has um, at any given point around eight customer service um, representatives here who are all who who help their customers with anything from navigating the common bond website to um, uh, figuring their financial aid to actually getting figuring out how to get money wired from their loan to figuring out and calling a college to say why haven't I gotten my disbursement of money yet to um, uh, helping and figuring out ways for a customer to pay off their loans and get them a job. So there's a lot more skill, hard skills that um, I, my goal is to have the money mentors really like skilled up and learn a lot more things um, because we have access to, the, to that customer service team. Um, so that's what I mean by opportunity. Um, in terms, and then I can kind of go through a few additional questions, but I'll, I'll stop there because I've been talking for a bit. Uh, one, to say if there, if all of that makes sense, and then two is I want to take one to two, like a couple questions. So you guys have to ask a few questions now. So does any, anyone have questions about anything that I've said? And I'm gonna make. I'm gonna only move on once we have like one to two questions. So, uh, I have a question about, about core values. Can you repeat the NGB core values? Uh, I'll repeat the one, the all of them, or just the one that I mentioned. So that, that you need to send out the common bond core values and the next one as core time. values okay. um, as a follow up right. too. Um, all three of them. Okay. Well, we have more than three, so I don't totally it know. It seems like she might be referring to the common bond core value, or the, yeah, the values we're talking about, where you were talking about the three. Do you mean the, do you, yeah, okay, got it. Caitlin, do you mean the core values or the common bond three business lines? I just know what oh, you said okay. was into. Okay. Yeah, so the value. <laughs> okay, yeah. So the the next MS core value to that everyone should have top of mind in the in starting now is anticipate, automate, and act. So what I mean by that is we're gonna go through a period of higher iteration, um, specifically because that, and not to 
say this in an odd way, but my full attention will be on money mentors and city teams now, as opposed to spearheading and making sure that this acquisition happened um, in the right way. Uh, so we will just be improving the money mentor service at a much faster rate. Um, so I want everyone to be thinking constantly, how can we improve this? How can we change, improve the customer, excuse me, improve the money mentor service? And how do we improve interacting with smart reply? Does smart reply suck? How do we change it? What do we need? What different, how should we change the dashboard? How should we change staffing? How should we change what we're talking to students about right now? Should we be changing the bot? Should we be adding images to the bot? Um, like, are people uh, faking service requests? Um, how do we have quality control? How should we measure if our advice is accurate? So all of those things are just to be really top of mind. And that's where the anticipate, automate, and act comes in, is that if you basically, if you see something that is that you in your mind think are, is bad service to an end student, it should be changed a lot faster than it was before. Okay? That's kind of the, the summary there. Yes, and uh, Devin, you had a question as well. Um, yeah, well, I'm sure this is going to be like something we talk about in the future, but it was just about how, how you mentioned Calvin Bond has this like um, 401k, like student loan repayment plan sort of thing. I was going to ask if we have like, if we're going to have like, access to that in the future. So like being fully integrated into like the. Um, if, is it basically, are you going to, are we going to have access to that? Yeah. Yeah, so um, as that's a great question, actually. Yeah. Can you write that down, George? Um, uh, the, sh the short answer is our full-time team members do currently as, as W-2 employees. Um, I would bucket that as, uh, actually, we should ask Karen about that, like, today. Okay. <laughs> if we can um, get yeah, we're people. meeting with her today, I believe. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I'll find out, Devin, for you. Um, for But I can say confidently, like, any full-time next MS member does right now. Um, but I'll ask, I think that we should, a goal should be to figure out a way to roll that out to money mentors and our student community in the future. I'm gonna do that right now, so that's cool. um, Did you hear me, Devin? I feel like it froze. Did, uh, did you hear me, Devin? Okay, Devin, did you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yes. Okay, cool. Okay. Any other questions before kind of just a few other items? Uh, let's see. Uh, Daniel, do you have any questions? No, I'm good. I think I understand everything. Okay. Tara, how about you? I'm all set. Han, how about you? I feel like I haven't met you yet. I feel like you have to have some questions. Um, not right now. <laughs> okay. I don't think um, so. And uh, what I'd also say too is that we're going to try to figure out a way to have some type of like money mentor day within Common Bond. Um, it, I'll just say right now, like if you're if you come into the next time, if you come into our office in um, uh, at Common Bond, you'll get like a shit ton of swag. So. Um, that's like motivation, <laughs> but we will try to organize like a formal day where you can meet people within within this place um, You guys will just by default We might nominate someone to really be like the liaison between their customer service team here um, to streamline a lot of those efforts um, They have a great in-school team meaning for college students um, Where they have like a lot more money to do prizes and stuff like that. So uh, Basically, if you if you've had a lot of ideas on how to improve the money mentor service or like social media stuff or prizes, like now is the time to email me those um, and William so that we can actually like we have more budget and the ability to do that now um, to propose and, and resources. So all all like broader great things. Um, okay, so if that if if no immediate questions with that, um, uh, let's see here. Um, um, 
Will I be able to meet people at Kanban? Yes, especially if you're in your, if you're in New York City. Um, we will. George, can you write down this follow up? We need to set up a, a hangout time immediately for the money mentors to actually William. This is William. Um, William. So sometime in the next week, we need to set up a a uh, a two to three hangout options to meet with three customer care members. For money mentors to do that. Just the team members do that with uh, in school lending? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, William. Um, uh, how will I talk to teachers and students about this? So a few questions. Um, uh, one is, so NextGenVest is operating essentially as NextGenVest within Common Bond. So you can consider Common Bond to be our parent company. Um, that may change. So we might conclude that, you know, at the end of three months, that um, actually just makes a lot more sense to scrap the next MS website and only be part of Common Bond. Um, I kind of doubt that's going to be the case. Um, that's why I'm really focusing on where, like, on how this will work is because it really just depends on how to best serve students. So if it's easier for a student to sign up on our website, great, we'll keep it. If not, great, we'll change it. Um, so the so like how does NextGenVest function? We're we're a separate business line. My title is VP of NextGen. So we I'm running the NextGen business line within Common Bond, um, which is basically just Next NextGenVest as NextGen. Does that make sense to people? Um, do we have any, are we required to sign students up for Common Bond loans? No. Um, that being said, Common Bond does have better priced loans than people like Sally Mae um, or Navient. So will we continue to help students take out well-priced loans that they qualify for? Yes. Does that distinction make sense? Um, will my email address change? Not immediate not for the foreseeable future until we figure out like how next gen best brand and digital assets should continue to live um online um can i update my linkedin with this news um yes uh and i would uh, uh encourage you guys to the the part about like the you know being a part of a venture back company that was acquired um that's a big deal in the broader like employment market um that being said, you shouldn't change it to common bond. So just keep it under the next invest like logo um, until otherwise notified. Um, the other thing too, this is, wasn't on the list of questions that I was given, but uh, um, I think Eric, this is really Eric. I'm sure you guys have been in touch with Eric. Um, part of our integration is like switching uh, whatever it is, payment systems, um, which is annoyingly taking, long, I, I would have advocated for, there should have been no changes in payment or delay. So he's um, working on streamlining that. We were up late last night trying to brainstorm ways that it's, uh, it, they were telling us it would be next Tuesday. I'm like, that's bullshit. Like, so there might be an option for you guys to get your payment from Friday over PayPal if you want, um, which is like immediate. Uh, so Eric, like Eric, is in charge of figuring that out as quickly as possible. Um, there, uh, there's a chance that it might go from weekly to every other week, um, but again, all of that is uh, so we should follow up right, that follow. too. I don't um, really. Yeah. It should be the same. I would prefer that it that the timing doesn't change. Um, so we follow up with Cameron and Eric. Uh, both of them. Um, so any other. That's kind of it. Any other questions? Okay, great. Wait, so uh, there is one more thing from the last meeting. The question that we had was, um, will all the money mentors be trained on how to talk about our relationship with Common Bond? Yes. Um, yes, so you will. So if we get questions, like how do we answer that? Or should we Yeah, so the short, if people didn't hear George, it was like, will money mentors get trained on how to talk about the acquisition or like Common Bond? And the answer is yes. Um, our goal is to have that figured out by next Friday. Uh, and the sh and I, I need to figure that out. So I need to figure out the best way for money mentors, workshop leaders, George and I are gonna go into a bunch of schools tomorrow to like figure out how to, what questions teachers, parents, partners, and students have. 
Um, if you have any insight to that, I would love to hear it. So please feel free to email me. Um, I still have my same NextMS email, so you can email me there. Uh, but that's that's pretty much it. So um, quick things again, you're going to have a quiz that you have to fill out by Friday and you have to pass it. And two is there's going to be new contracts sent out. Um, so a bit on the contracts, they're basically the same um, as NextMS, but because NextMS is now owned by Common Bond, they'll be issued from Common Bond. Um, so the deadline for that is next Monday. Um, and then uh, now the, getting back to that like broader opportunity, right? Like so it, nothing's changed except you guys just basically have more opportunities. Um, if not that it, this is immediate right now, but I said to the other group too, we now have the potential to actually fully complete the loop of employment, right? So like this has been a goal of mine for a while. I, a lot of you have heard me talk about this before. It's like, like starting with a user that needs help with student loans is one of our users recruiting them to be a money mentor or workshop leader so that they get internship experience, um, skills and training, and they're also paid to also pay off their loans. So they're, they're making money from NextGMS so that they can pay off their own loans to then actually getting employed full time after college. So that circle is now like possible to be completed. Um, so uh, you guys, some of you are, are like freshmen to juniors. Some of you are, are I think later in senior year. But that option of, of full-time employment will become much more available to you guys. So as with any job, um, the more your manager knows, the better about your broader future career plans. So that's a, like, keep me up to speed with that. Um, not to say that there's any, like, immediately open positions, but there will be moving forward. Okay? All right, cool. Um, see you guys. <laughs>